Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This reflex image, if this is your first time sitting, please kindly kindly subscribe and also don't forget to drop a like. So as you all know, we have a latest version of Photoshop that is currently going on right now, which has a lot of features that we manipulate on it to, to make our manipulation easy and to save us uh, a little bit of money when it comes to getting up some file. Uh, the Photoshop is still lagging behind when it comes to in terms of overlay, but I think when you, I think when it comes to terms of PNG files, it actually drops some PNG files for us. Though it does not have the entire collection we need, but it's still a start. So I'll be showing you how to use it for your indoor manipulation. So I'll be dropping more videos on how to get how to use the keyword rights in this new button, version of Photoshop. But the issue we're having right now is that it's not compatible with mostly all PC. They are specifics and yet the crack is here to be out now. So if you want to know how to get this uh, fashion of Photoshop uh, onto your PC, just go to my videos, go to my videos. I drop a video on the inter installation process. And also it requires a lot of features as you can see. Even my system does not have the graphic compatibility to run it, but it's still gonna work but it's only going to slow, uh, slow down my system for now and also for you to load up the Photoshop you need to turn on your system you need to turn on your internet connection because it needs internet now so soon now the latest version will be out very soon the latest version will be out very soon where you can get the crack and also work on new things so the only stress we have about this right now is you need a higher version of 16 8 gb above uh, the processor speed at 2.50 gigahertz above to make your system very very fast so with no further ado let's jump into action i'll be showing you how to manipulate picture but the thing is that i tend not to work on the background very perfectly so i tend to do my background manipulation before coming to do just this so as you can see i already flattened my image i've manipulated the background i've collaborated my picture the beauty about using this uh photoshop is that even though after you're done with your color grading and you have to bring in any other file it's going to blend the color perfectly to suit what you need right so now let's do a little bit of just few manipulation i will call it a day so we are going to be bringing in some png files right now so the png file we're bringing in right now instead of it to go to our, our phone storage and start to download sorry our pc go to the web and download we can actually just do that with this new version of Photoshop, I just type in new words. Wow, this is just awesome. So what I'll be doing right now, I'll be selecting my rectangle mark weights, which I have over here. So I'm going to scroll over the area I want to bring in the first file, which is right over here. So what I want to bring in now is a lookout drum. So let me just click on my generative field right now. I'll click on it, then I'm going to type lookout drum. Local drum. Then I'm going to click on generate and wait for it to load up for me. So let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. It's loading. Uh, if you have a higher version of system, this should be done within 5-10 seconds. But since my system is not that high end, so that's the reason why it's kind of slow this way. So try to get a new version of system uh, with high graphic, graphic dedicated system. Let me just put it that way. So now let's wait for it to load up. Wow, this is awesome. Look at what it gave us. And it gave us three options for we to choose from. And if the option is not okay for you, you can just click on generate again. It's going to generate more options for you. And look at how it blended the color perfectly. So if I don't like this, I can just click on the second selection. And the beauty about this is that it comes with its own shadow. So instead of you just crack your brain in creating shadows again, it actually comes with its own shadow wow wow this is awesome this is perfect so you can decide to choose anyone i think i will be going with this one right now so let us say i'm done with this selection right now so let me bring in another png file again with my generative field the new photoshop features so this is going to help a lot so you can just keep using that for your png but it might not get everything you need but it still is that you still be need, you still need to get some other png files you need to buy them or buy a video course on how to get them because Photoshop does not have everything you need. But for now, it still starts. You can actually just manipulate a picture using the generative field. 
especially when it comes to the PNG file. But the overlay for now, I'll still do more research on that. We can actually get some to work on the overlay. So we are done with this right now. So now let's try get creating another PNG file again and see what it's going to give us. So we still want a rectangle macro to over here. Let me scroll over this side again. Let me scroll over here. So now what I want what I want right now is to create a flower and a flower vase. So I'm going to click on my generative field. Then I'm going to click on flower with vase. Flower with vase. Vase. Then I'm going to click on generate. I'll still wait for it to load for me. Still wait for it. And boom. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at the results you just got right now. Look at how cool the flower this is. So if you don't like this, you just click from the other option it gives you. So let's load another option right there. Let's load the second option right there. And wait for it. And out of these three options also, if you're not satisfied with what it gives you, you can just actually go and click on generate again. It's going to generate another set of the PNGs for you. So now I think this is still kind of okay, but if you don't like it this way, you can still go for the last one then. So if you still don't like among the three selection, you can now go and click on generate again. So it's going to generate another new collection for you. Wow, this is perfect. This is perfect. Look at how nice it looks. We just generated free. Instead of it was going buying PNG pies, actually it's still on PNG. But for now, you can just keep creating with this. But there are some files you actually need to get when it comes to the PNG. So this is very, very easy to use, but you need a high graphic dedicated system to get that because it's it's consume a lot of space on the pc especially when i check the file in my desktop it's over 9 point something gig so i need about 16 gig of ram for being to, to operate this photoshop perfectly so that being said now so let's just create the last thing we want in this picture and just let's call it today so now let me just zoom out let me zoom out so what i want to create now i want to create uh, a flower petal down here to save as if they pour a flower on the floor a flower petal on the floor so i'm going to select over here this way then it's going to bring up my generative field back for me then i'm going to click on generative field this time around i'll just click on flower flower petals p-e-t-a-l then s trust me while you're using this feature the issue there is that you need to know the right keyword to use keyword matters a lot when it comes to using uh the generative field if you don't get the right keyword you don't get the right answer so try to know the right keyword as much as possible i'll be dropping more videos creating this generative field so that you guys can actually learn from and get it perfectly fine and also how to make use of them don't worry very soon the full version of photoshop will be out for you guys to make use of instead of you going through the stress of downloading this so you can just get it and once it's out i'll let you guys know i'm also going to give you guys the crack to use for it so now let's click on our generative field and wait let's wait for what it's going to give us right now so what we want now is the flower petal and now let's click on it and wait for the actual result is going to bring out for us wow. this is just wow this is awesome and look at the variety of choices deep to rose this is state of the art the new features of photoshop is damn interesting so i think you guys should just try it out and work out some things in it also so that's all today today guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any questions you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys on my next tutorial one love so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots 
this is the feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabrics my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice 